It is the 11th of the 7th, 2011. And this is today's climate change update. I'm going to begin with uh, bringing up the last video I put out of the video response to uh, the question, is the pole shifting? Um, I'm not in disagreement about the pole is actually shifting. I do have videos on that. I will attach this video to one of the better ones, um, just so you can understand that the pole is shifting. The question is, how fast? With that in mind, let me begin with this story. Italy's Mount Etna volcano spewed lava on to its southeastern slope on Saturday afternoon and windswept ash stopped flights in Cantina's airport. The strong eruption was Etna's fifth since the beginning of this year. It last erupted in May. Listen to this. Sicilians were quick to blame the volcano after thousands noticed that their clocks and watches for the computers and alarm clocks were running 15 minutes fast. Now these are electronic clocks. The speed up was spotted when large numbers of locals started turning up for work early. Interesting indeed. I will provide the link over to, let's do Energy News. Uh, they have tonight, elderly woman hangs herself over nuclear crisis. Please tell your readers why she committed suicide. Her son tells a story. Army Corps of Engineers predicts the Missouri River will overflow up to 70 levees, 70 more levees in the Missouri Valley. That is Iowa and Missouri, Nebraska. Insanity. And I'm sure the flooding will go on down the line because the water just doesn't stop here. Uh, I know for a fact my governor has just declared it a national state of emergency and they're putting in for FEMA loans and all these other things for the flooded farmers and the communities along the Missouri Basin. Um, and again, the streams and smaller rivers are backing up as well. And if you check the radar, the rain continues. Military helicopters looking for new signs of trouble at flooded Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant. And you got to remember, this is where they have 20 years of nuclear spent fuel rods in storage, along with a stockpile of other spent nuclear fuel rods from around the country that were headed towards uh, Yakima Mountain and uh, were sidetracked and blocked. But they're sitting there at Fort Calhoun, Nebraska. The NRC admits it routinely does not share reports from nuclear industry with the public, including info about radiation leaks. <sighs> Forbes.com leading biophysicist cast critical light on gover government's reassurance that Americans were never at risk from Fukushima fallout. And again, the truth is leaking out. They cannot stop the leaking going on in a uh, <clears throat> Fukushima, Japan, and all that it entails for all of us, the entire world. Los Alamos Labs trying to prevent Cold War era contamination from coming closer as two major canyons above the labs suffered fire damage. And basically, they're they're closing down public hiking trails in this region um, because of the ash and stuff. They don't want to spread around um, the ash that was burnt in these fires. Um, because of their not so clean disposable disposal practices earlier, the insanity continues. Over to let's go to the extinction protocol. Uh, we've got a story: warming ocean causing mass migration of marine species. Now this is out of London. Warming oceans. Waters are causing the largest movement of marine species seen on Earth in more than two million years, according to scientists. In the Arctic, melting ice uh, during recent summers has allowed a passage to open from the Pacific Ocean to the North Atlantic, allowing plankton, fish, and even whales to enter the Atlantic Ocean from the Pacific. The discovery has sparked fears um, delicated marine food webs could be unbalanced and lead to some species becoming extinct as competition for food between native species and the invaders stretches resources. These massive fish losses can have to do with uh, nuclear contamination from Fukushima spreading across the North Pacific, could it? Oh, how convenient. 
Uh, they got a economy piece, domino effect, financial debt contagion in danger of spreading from Greece. <laughs> All according to plan. Sunspot chain forming on the solar surface. Nice. When you just thought the sun was going away quietly, it throws us a few surprises. It's nothing ominous, but it does indicate our, our unpredictable our star can be. Mm, sunspot group 1247 is expanding rapidly and, is, and in an interesting way. The active region is organizing itself as a lineal chain of sunspots denoted by a rectangle on this July 11th image from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Very interesting. I recommend you look at it. <laughs> Flooding uh, leaves scores dead and missing in South Korea. At least eight people were killed and four were missing after torrential rains hit southern parts of Korea over the weekend. Uh, the emergency official said on Sunday, since Friday as much as 40 centimeters of rain have fallen in the southern provinces, leaving tens of thousands of hectares of farmland submerged and nearly 90 homes flooded. On Sunday, um, two older women, blah, 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 and of course we know more crop damage in South Korea. That's all they have new today. Over to Earth Changes, Scott.net. Uh, they got a San Andreas Fault is overdue fear piece. <clears throat> the Noclucent Clouds Electric Blue Morning. This is out of Poland. On Sunday morning, July 10th, a bank of non-lucent clouds swept across Europe. Instead of the usual rosy red sunrise over Poland, was electric blue. And they do have some really beautiful pictures. Um, just goes to show, you know, we got clocks setting themselves ahead, and uh, these clouds are becoming more and more popular. Rains drenched North India, seven dying rain link incidents, and the monsoon showers lashed large parts of North India today, including national capital, as seven people were killed in different rain related incidences. Uh, U.S. flood keeps call centers busy. Calls to the United Way of the Midlands 211 call center include many southwest Iowans looking for help on flood-related problems, a United Way report says. The 211 call center is uh, a clearinghouse for community service information for people in Nebraska and southwest Iowa. Overall call volume for June was up 77% from last year because of all the flood calls, um, said the spokeswoman. From June 1st to July 5th, the call center received uh, 2,656 flood-related calls. Almost 60% of those calls came from Pottawatomie County, Iowa. And of course it goes on to, um, here we go again, record flooding and uh, national disaster and everybody gets uh, loans. Floods and rains play havoc in Balistan. Now this is south of Pakistan. And uh, U.S. experts expect more Missouri River levee failures, and the number is 70. They're expecting at least 70 more levee failures. And U.S. floods this summer could break records. No kidding. Heavy downpours leave 12 dead and 4 missing in South Korea. I just covered that. British Columbia flood warning issued on Peace Region. A flood warning has been issued for British Columbia Central and Southern Peace Region as uh, persistent rainfall causes the area rivers to rise steadily. Now, uh, this is the southern region of Canada and the central, so this is the north part of our flooding, uh, right in the Missouri River Basin. And uh, flooding, flooding, flooding right here where we don't need it. And over to the RSO E-Quick, um, they're reporting... Uh, the heat wave, of course, uh, we had 114 degree heat index here today. Tomorrow's going to be worse, uh, high temp of 92, and just the heat, and uh, of course the, the humidity and the severe thunderstorms that is dead of summer here in the Midwest. Uh, flooding in Canada, of course, I just covered that. Extreme weather in, the, in Chile, that's the snowfall, the big snowfall that happened in the driest desert. One of the driest places on earth. Uh, flash floods in Nigeria, uh, pretty extensive. Um, again, with the extreme weather out of New Zealand, and it is their winter time, and they're having all the squalls that that entails. 
uh, forest fires near Smartsville, California. Uh, seems like Dubai and the United Arab Emirates got their version of the Phoenix Dust Bowl and a big dust storm hit that area and that is not uncommon for them. A hailstorm in Uganda and of course the, the Mount Edna volcano and that is about all I have for you tonight. Of course if I missed anything please let me know. Attach your comments or uh, videos below. And uh, thanks for everything. Enjoy what you can everybody.